Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create small in-editor utility tools in Unreal Engine 5.0 using Geometry Script, a new experimental feature. So I've got this mesh I imported from some software uh, that is YUP, and of course Unreal is ZUP. So what I want to do is make this mesh be ZUP so that when I drag it into the scene, it's sitting on its base. So what I'm going to do is create an editor utility action that will let me do that, and I'm going to do it with Geometry Script. So to create the action, I'm going to right click and go to Editor Utilities, Editor Utility Blueprint, and then I'm going to click on this button, Asset Action Utility. That's going to make a new blueprint. I'm going to call it Flip Y Up, and I'm going to right click and edit it. I'm just going to dock it at the top here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is in the Functions tab, I'm going to click on the Override down here and select Get Supported Class. I'm going to delete this parent node. And here in the return value, I'm going to pick static mesh as the type. This will make it so that I can only run this action on static mesh assets. Then I'm going to add another, add a, click the add button for functions and add a function called flip y up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is get selected assets. That's going to give me the list of selected things. So this will work on multiple objects at the same time. And then for that list, I'm going to do a for each loop. Look up the exec pin. So for each of the elements in the loop, I have to cast it to a static mesh. So do the cast to static mesh node for each uh, iteration of the loop body. And then once it's a static mesh, I can copy it to a dynamic mesh to do edits to it. So I need a dynamic mesh. So I'm going to use construct object from class. I'm going to select the class as dynamic mesh. So now each time we do go through the loop, it's going to do that cast. Then it's going to make a dynamic mesh if it succeeds. And then from there, we can do uh, a copy copy mesh from static mesh node. So we'll do that next. We'll pass in our dynamic mesh we just created. So now we've got the static mesh out. So we're going to apply a transform to it. So there's a node called transform mesh. I'm going to do that one. I'm going to right click and split this pin here. Now I've already figured out that what I need to do uh, at least in this case, is just rotate around the x-axis by 90 degrees. Uh, the y up to z up conversion, you might also want to do with some uh, negative scaling, but in this case, we'll just do this rotation. That's enough uh, for this demo. Okay, so once I've done that transform, now I'm going to copy it back to the static mesh. So I'm going to do copy mesh to static mesh. And I'm going to wire in that static mesh from over here. There we go. So let's compile that and save it. So now if I drag one of these into the scene, you can see if I go and right click on the asset, not in the level, but down in the content browser, and go to scripted asset actions, here's my action, flip Y up. So if I run that, you see it rotated the asset, but it didn't rotate it. What it did is it changed the vertices. So you see the icon down here actually changed because now the mesh is set up. But now there's a second problem you see here is that the pivot's in the middle, and I want to be able to just drag this bunny in, and I don't want it to be under the level like that. So we're going to go back and add one more thing to it. First, I'm going to undo that change. Oh, I have to do these first. Um, so I can undo the operation that the asset action did. So you see now the mesh is back to being uh, sort of Y up. Okay, so let's stick in another node here. So the first thing I'm going to have to do once I've done this transform is get the bounding box of that mesh. So now remember, it's so now it's Z up, so I'm going to take its bounding box. And then I'm going to split this pin. I'm going to split the min. And I'm going to do another transform mesh node. So I'm just going to translate it up. Uh, so let's wire this in here. We're going to take that target mesh in here. And we're going to split the transform pin and then the transform location. Now the only thing is I need to negate the bounding box Z. So I'm going to do a subtract. Put Z in the second one and zero in the first, so that's just going to make it negative Z. I'm going to wire that into the Z transform. Uh, and now that I've done that, I can rewire the copy back to the static mesh. Okay, so let's compile that. Put another one of these in the scene. Right click on the asset, scripted asset actions, flip Y up. And there we go. So what it did is it rotated it first and then it translated it up such that the zero point in local coordinates is this point on the base. So now that's done, and now I can drag in more of these, and they will be uh, sort of reoriented to Z up, and we basically move the pivot of the asset. And that's 
very common request we get for geometry script is how to move the pivot and essentially the way you move the pivot around is by transforming the mesh relative to its origin. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.